This is the video on by sequence order. We're going to click on files and the file we're going to use is the unit file so I'm going to click on it. Here is information about the unit file. It has three names in the file. At offset zero for two characters there's the unit C code. At offset two for two characters is the unit S code. And at offset four for 16 characters is a unit name. Over here under sequence we see there are eight sequences that we can get a record number list for for this file. The first sequence says that it will sort them by unit C code, then by unit S code, and then by the unit name. Because here there's a 1 there, and a 2 there, and a 3 there. The next sequence says that it'll sort first by the unit S code, then by the unit name, and last is a unit C code. There's a third sequence order. It says you sort first by the unit name, then by the unit C code, and then by the unit S code. So we know there are three sequence possibilities for the unit file. Now we're done with this. Now we're going to execute it. Here we see by sequence order. The first column here shows them exactly as they are in the file. This is record number one. This number two, number three, all the way down to record 20. There wasn't a request for re reading them in a certain sequence. However, the second one here said that it wanted to have a record number list built that was in the order of this C code, then the S code, and then the unit name. So we see here the first column is sorted. And then inside the B's here they're sorted but they're all extra small. But here under the G for green, M came first, then the extra smalls. Under orange, large came first, then the medium, then the smalls. Alright, this was sequence number one. Here is sequence number two. It said to start the sorting on this the size code. Here we see L, then M, then S, then X. And inside the L's we see the next thing that it sorted on was the name. L, then T. And down here under M's is short, then T. This was the second sequence order you could ask for. And here is the third sequence order. It said it wanted to see them in order of the unit name, then of the unit C code, and then of the unit S code. So here we see L, S, and then the T's. Up here we see that if this is a file that can have sequence orders, it must start out with a less than file greater than right before the file name. And then that must end with a capital F. After that, these se seven characters say that there are maximum of 20 records in this file. 
Well, we had 20 in it, so it was full. Next, it says that each record is 20 long. There's five characters here that say it's 20 long. And last, how many values are in the record? Well, we weren't interested in values for this, but it there says there's one value in the list. Well, this is the video for by sequence order.